Number 14, find the measure of the angle between u and v to the nearest tenth of a degree. Now we had a formula for this, and unfortunately it's not on the formula chart, so if you look on there you won't find it, and it says this, that cosine theta is equal to u dot v divided by the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. Now that's the formula, but a lot of people might not remember this, so here's what I'm going to do instead, is I'm going to just kind of graph this, and I'm going to walk through an easy way of solving it if we just kind of use our brains a little bit about thinking. This vector u is 2 to the right and 1 up. So it'd be 2 units over, 1 unit up. So I'll put 1, 2, 1. And so that's at the point right there of 2, comma, 1. And this one's 8, comma, 5. So if I continue this on, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I'm going to pause the video and fix my app. Okay, now I fixed these. And so I'm going to draw the second vector on there, and I'll change the color here. And we want to go 8, 5. So I go over to 8, up to 5, something like this. And now I want to find what is the vector. So this point right there would be 8, 5. Now I want to know what's the angle in between these. What I could do in the calculator is if I change these to polar, what's going to come out is I'm going to put it called, I'll call it theta 1, and this will be, oh, I've got to the 1, and this will be theta 2. And I'm going to subtract theta 2 by theta 1. That's what I'm going to do to get the angle in between. So come over here, we'll go to new document, add a calculator. So if my first bracket is 2 comma 1, and I'm going to convert this to polar, menu, 7, C, 4, and we get that angle there, it's 26.565 degrees, and I'm going to do the same thing with my uh, second vector, which was 8, 5, and I want to convert this to polar, so I go menu, 7, C, 4, menu, matrix and vectors, C stands for vectors, and then 4, convert to polar, and now I have this angle, and now I'm going to subtract these two values, so I'll take 32, and this time, uh, I'll just round to the third decimal place, 0 0.005, and I'm going to subtract that by 26.565. And we get the angle between them as being 5.44 degrees. And so I'm going to do the approximately because I did round. So theta, the angle in between, is 5.44 degrees, and this would be our answer. Now, if you wanted to use dot product, you could. And so we have these magnitudes now. And so the way you could do that is um, you would have to get rid of the cosine. You do a cosine inverse over here. And so the cosine inverse of the fraction, we'd have the dot product of the first two vectors. So the dot product, you'd go x times x, which 2 times 8 is 16, plus y times y, 1 times 5 is 5. And you'd put that over the magnitude of the first, which is 2.236 times the magnitude of the second, 9.433. I'm going to round it to 434. Press enter. And you see, we get the same answer. It's just uh, the only difference is the rounding uh, differences there. So we have done it correctly.